Uh, welcome and thank you for joining me for today's morning prayer on Tuesday the 15th of December. So let us just still our hearts and minds as we come into the presence of our Lord and Saviour. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has formed it among the, upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their souls to an idol nor sworn an oath to a lie, they shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. So let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 70. So come to me quickly, O God. O God, make speed to save me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life be put to shame and confusion. Let them be turned back and disgraced to wish me evil. Let those who mock and deride me turn back because of their shame. But let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say always, Great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy. Come to me quickly, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Come to me quickly, O God. O God, our helper and defender, deliver us in our weakness, answer our longings and vindicate our faith, that we may see your glory in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading for today is Isaiah chapter 50. But I shall be continuing with the canticle and then the New Testament reading. So lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God, Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be open and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a harp and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. 
for waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Well, the New Testament reading is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. It's starting at verse 12 and goes then to the end. But we appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to respect those who labour among you and have charge of you in the Lord and admonish you. Esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves, and we urge you, beloved, to admonish the idlers, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with all of them. See that none of you repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Beloved, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. I solemnly command you by the Lord that this letter be read to all of them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, I would urge you to reread this passage. The behaviour we are asked to attain to is one worthy of a follower and example of Jesus Christ. Yet don't let it become a set of rules to keep, a tick list as it were. For knowing all about the right way to live is not the same as knowing the person Jesus Christ who changes our lives to reflect his. Yesterday, David encouraged us to contact and encourage someone the Lord might have brought to our minds. And uh, someone uh, today actually um, encouraged me, and so I thank her. And so I ask that you might think about doing this again today. There are many of us who are alone and who would really value a friendly voice. Now it's time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let there therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to, to, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, 
the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. So let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we offer ourselves to you today that we might be Christ to those we meet or speak to. We pray for this broken world, for the damage we have caused and the hurt we have inflicted on others. Father, forgive us. Show us how to love as you love. We pray for rulers of nations. Help them to govern as you would want. Give them wisdom and understanding to know about the people they have responsibility for. We pray for our relationship with the European Union and for discussions still continuing. May your will come to be. We pray for the continuing battle we all face against the coronavirus. We thank you for the vaccines being produced and ask for help in the logistics of vaccinating the most vulnerable. We pray for strength for those working in all our health services. May they know your power and presence. We bring before you your church. Increase your gift of faith and strengthen us to proclaim your gospel, starting with the arrival of the birth of your son. We pray also that we might celebrate and give praise this Christmas for the baby Jesus who changed the world forever. We lift our ministers to you, especially in Rayleigh. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, allowing them to rest in your presence. And at this time of year, when we remember your first coming as a baby, may we be ready for the moment of your return. Soften our hearts to feel your love and compassion. Bring your healing to those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Comfort those who are alone or lonely and give peace to those who are grieving. Prompt us to contact those who need a voice of encouragement and we bring before you those known to us who need a special touch from you today. These things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedience, disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found and an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. When the Lord, may the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for joining me today. Keep close to God. Stay safe and keep in contact with one another. May God pour out his blessing upon you until we meet again. Amen. <laughs>